reception. This week in maths, we're going to be looking at doubling, halving and sharing again. So here is a quick recap for We're you. going to start with doubling. Doubling is adding two numbers that are the same. And I'm going to use my beautiful butterfly to help to show you. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to count the number of colours on the butterfly's wings on this side. Okay, so can you help me to count them? We've got one, two, three, four. So I'm going to write down at the bottom four. And as doubling is adding the same number, I'm going to add. Now let's just check that we've got how many we've got on the other side. One, two, three, four. Okay, so the two numbers are the same. Four, add four. Okay, so we had four over here. So let's lock that in our heads now. Lock it in four. And now we're going to count on four, five, six, seven, eight. So double four is eight. Okay, so this time we're going to look at halving. Halving is sharing between two. And in this case, I've got Little Brown Hare and Peter Rabbit, and they're both quite hungry. Luckily, I've got some strawberries that they can share between them. So the first thing we need to do is we need to count how many strawberries are we going to share between Little Brown Hare and Peter Rabbit. So let's count the strawberries. Can you count with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we've got eight strawberries all together. Next, we're going to share the strawberries between them. We're going to do that one at a time. Okay, so I'm going to give one to Little Brown Hare and one to Peter Rabbit. One to Little Brown Hare and one to Peter Rabbit. One to Little Brown Hare and one to Peter Rabbit. One to Little Brown Hare and one to Peter Rabbit. So now we've shared out all eight strawberries between two of them, we're finding half. So what is half of eight? Well, let's see how many they have each. Little brown hair has one, two, three, four. And Peter Rabbit also has one, two, three, four. So eight strawberries shared between two is four strawberries each. Okay, reception. So now we're going to do some sharing. And I've got Iggle Piggle, Hugo and Gromit with me. And they all want to play with the blocks that you can see here. So the first thing we're going to do is to find out how many blocks we've got all together. Can you count them with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we've got nine blocks shared between three friends. 
we'll be doing nine shared between three. So just like we did when we shared out the strawberries, we're going to do them one at a time and that will help us to make sure it's fair. So I'm going to give one to Iggle Piggle, one to Hugo, one to Gromit, one more to Iggle Piggle, one more to Hugo, one more to Gromit, one more to Iggle Piggle, one more to Hugo, and the last one to Gromit. So remember, we had nine blocks and we are doing nine blocks shared between three friends and they should all have the same number of blocks. So let's just check that first. Okay, and you can see that they each have three blocks. So nine shared between three friends is three blocks each. Okay, reception. So we're going to do some more sharing, um, but this time I haven't got any friends or any things, any objects to help me with my sharing. So instead, I'm going to draw a picture to help me. And you can see that I've already drawn some flowers. That's the start of my picture. Okay, so I want you to imagine 12 little bees just leaving their hive. They're going to go out and visit some flowers. Now there are four flowers in this field. So we've got 12 bees visiting four flowers. And we want the bees to have the same number of flowers each. We want them to be, we want it to be fair. Okay. So just like we did with the strawberries and the blocks, I'm going to share the bees between the four flowers. So I'm going to draw my bees visiting the flowers. So here is bee number one. He visits this flower here. Number B2 goes to this one. And remember there are 12, so we've got one, two, three, four, five bees, six bees, seven bees, eight bees, Nine bees, ten bees, eleven bees, twelve bees. So I had twelve bees shared between four flowers and I want to see how many bees are at each flower. So what I can do now is I can see that at this flower There are three bees. At 
this flower there are three bees. At this flower there are three bees. And at this flower there are three bees too. So the 12 bees that left the hive shared between four flowers gives us three bees to each flower. Okay.